Alright guys, welcome back to Minecraft. This is my automatic wheat harvesting farm, as you probably saw from the intro. Unfortunately, that version of the farm had a little bit of a bug, and I wasn't going to sit the, other, the 45 minutes again to let all my wheat grow to show you the updated version of the, of the plants growing, so I'm just going to simply here trigger the final update. So I've set it up. Normally this wouldn't work with bone meal, but I've set it up so that I can just for this. So when I place it on the bone meal, it'll automatically harvest, and I get all my wheat. Um, this is based off of the block update detector right here using a piston and it's also based off the concept that every time a wheat block grows to a next stage it triggers a block update and I use that to determine after seven block updates then I need to trigger off the harvesting because one for the plant and one for each of the seven stages of wheat so what happens is out here there's quite a bit of redstone involved it's not too complex my general rule with redstone is if you can't understand what it's doing it's too complex so try to space things out a bit and make it easy to understand each of these is the exact same design repeated over again and i'm just going to go through the first one what it is so this is a block update pulse detector so when the when the black pulses once what happens is uh this tries to transmit its signal through and if it can't then the signal stops there but it also goes this way where it, where it delays itself for three ticks and it uses this RS Norlash here it flips it over which extends the piston so that the next time through uh, we get a signal through and of course it has a reset reset line which goes all the way around them and it's triggered from the final update so when the final update triggered it automatically goes to the reset line with a three tick delay and it resets them all so that it's ready for the next harvest to be done Unfortunately, right now there is no way to have it auto planting, so you have to every time you have you will have to go through and manually plant your wheat. But at least auto harvest it for you for the lazy farmer. You just plant it in, and if you if you are using bone meal or something else, you can always just go like this: bam, 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 and use the manual harvest button. For for some reason, when I opened up the world of land, my uh, signs got completely wiped out. So ignore that for now. I'll probably have it fixed in the final world download, but I was too lazy to fix it right now. Press the button, uh, profit, and got everything flowing down. Stored me. Uh, the major disadvantage using a di design like this is that it uses a lot of pistons and a lot of repeaters. While repeaters aren't the rarest thing in Minecraft, they can take a little bit uh, to build up to, especially when you're using them in this a large amount of qual quantities. But there really is no other way of doing it, and so let's explain what it does after it gets down to the reset line. If you could tell, after it finishes up its finishes up its final block push, signal comes down to here where it goes two ways. Obviously, the first way goes to the reset to reset all the pistons to the default, but then it comes down here, which it follows this line all the way down to this. This is a st circuit stabilizer, similar to a mono stable circuit, but instead of only extending the pulse for one tick, it extends it out to, I believe, 48 ticks, so the input will always be 48 ticks. It could be longer, I guess, if you had a constant input, but that's very rare to have in Minecraft, unless you're using levers and such. So, oops, I don't think, no, wait, this is part of the block update detector, excuse me. Uh, this comes down into here, where these are the pistons that retract to make the water flow and to uh, make the to make the wheat and seeds flow towards you. The reason I'm using pistons to destroy the block instead of water is because at one point, I'm not sure if this is still true, but at one point, water would not give you seeds, it would only give you the wheat of your uh, your crops, so I decided to just leave it to use the wheat and uh, to use the pistons to destroy it, which do give seeds, as you could probably see before. And of course, that's about it. I mean, there really isn't too much to it. It's just a lot of redstone. It takes a long time to test. So, uh, there's no way for me to know if, this, if there are any bugs, if you do certain arrangements of wheat or not, but not. But it should be pretty maintainable. It should be pretty easy to extend as well. You just have to remember that you have all the water flowing down to this corner here, and you can just sit there and pick up your profits. Um, but other than that, guys, I'm Angry Beast. I'm signing out. This is a Simple design, I'll leave a download link in the description. As always, I'm Angry Beast signing out. Catch you guys in my next video.